now we will start with a very important subject in electronics and communication is communication what is communication communication what is the purpose of communication why we need communication what are the important component in communication definition of communication with this block diagram this block diagram is broad category block diagram not segregated in many parts basic block diagram consists of transmitter channel and receiver as per communication definition communication is a process it consists of main three block transmitter channel and receiver through which exchange of information between two and more system here input message applied input message is applied here we receive original message message means i repeat communication is a process it consists of main three blocks transmitter channel and receiver through which exchange of information between two and more system these three block can be further expanded by maybe transmitter may consist of modulator amplifier power amplifier voltage amplifier encoder and converter is a part of this transmitter we separately discuss what is transmitter what is the purpose of transmitter basic idea of communication means maybe two communication between exchange of information between maybe two and more than two maybe two and more than two for communication purpose three three main block transmitter first we discuss the transmitter transmitter purpose of transmitter to make suitable to make suitable for transmission to make suitable for transmission means modulator amplification amplifier voltage or current may be or may be power encoding encoder converter one form to another form converter may be the part of transmitter all these part work for one purpose make suitable for transmission whatever message signal is available to us may be temperature we have information in the form of temperature temperature is a physical quantity first we convert temperature into a electrical signal via a transducer after conversion we can amp amplify code conversion may be another form conversion may be modulation all these action perform within the transmitter domain within the transmitter domain raw input may be available to us is different different type raw input is voice voice original voice band is 300 to 344 hertz for telephone standard telephone baseband signal is audio standard audio baseband signal is 2 to uh, 20 to 20 kilohertz video signal is point 0 to 4.5 megahertz and data original bandwidth is depend on depends on pulse width is bandwidth depend on pulse width or voice is it is standard for audio it 
come from 20 to 90 kilo, uh, kilohertz for video 0 to 4.5 megahertz one more task of the transmitter is if we want to transmit voice signal through via a transducer it, it is converted into another form electrical pattern original voice may be I assume 300 kilo uh, 300 Hertz I have a signal of 300 Hertz and transmit through an antenna if I use antenna antenna is transmitting when length of the antenna is comparable to the wavelength to be transmitted comparable wavelength in the range of lambda is 10 up to 10 lambda by 10 maybe lambda by 4 or lambda within this range in this case lambda to be transmitted is come from C upon frequency mu C is velocity of light and frequency to us is 300 Hertz is come out 1000 kilometer if I use 1000 kilometer length antenna then we can transmit 300 Hertz signal in the second case again that uh, voice signal with the transducer and one more block we use modulator which convert audio frequency into radio frequency means modulator convert low frequency signal signal to high frequency signal high frequency signal for high frequency signal we use antenna for transmission purpose we use antenna antenna may be minimum lambda by 10 if we get lambda is 1000 kilometer lambda by 10 may be 100 kilometer 100 kilometer antenna is required to transmit 300 hertz now after transducer 300 hertz may be converted into higher frequency range with the help of modulator we convert 800 megahertz if we convert into 300 megahertz say for smaller calculation 300 megahertz then lambda is available to us is c upon f 3 into 8 300 megahertz everything is cancelled out 1 meter lambda by 10 is 1 by 10 meter means 10 centimeter very physical achievable antenna height this is the idea actual idea to transmit 300 hertz via antenna it is practical antenna height to make in practical antenna height into practical antenna height we have to use modulation the modulation convert in practical antenna height into practical antenna height low frequency signal to high frequency signal modulation convert for the purpose of reduce antenna height that's why modulation is very important parameter for transmission purpose is important part of the transmitter as per our discussion as as frequency increase F increase lambda decrease so antenna height antenna height also decrease so modulation is required to increase frequency second portion we discuss transmitter here and then we now discuss the channel channel carry transmitted signal up to receiver 
channel is a carrier which carry up to receiver two type of cha channel are there bounded unbounded bounded channel means transmission line example of bounded channel is transmission line twisted pair coaxial cable optical fiber cable unbounded free space satellite all the different type of channel channel is responsible for carrying signal up to receiver in the channel noise is very effective because during the transmission during the transmission noise is added into the signal noise in the channel or at the input of the receiver is most noticeable because at the before reprocessing before re reprocessing for demodulation purpose at the receiver end noise is maximum noticeable next we discuss last block receiver block rx block receiver extract extract or recover information from received weak receive weak received signal it, it extract information from why modulation is required receiver is recollecting information from whatever receive signal receive signal is weak in power why modulation is required modulation is required we discuss some points point for discussion to reduce the antenna height second module multiplexing of multiplexing of signal means transmit more more than one signal through a channel transmit multiple signal through a channel via multiplexing multiple signal through a channel modulation is required for the purpose of to reduce attenuation or interference and it is used to reduce effect of noise effect of noise minimize the effect of noise SNR is greater greater than one. For these reason, modulation is performed. Before starting different type of modulation, we will discuss some review of spectrum, review of Fourier transform, review of Fourier. Fourier transform means time domain to frequency domain conversion. There are two ideas 
Fourier series and Fourier transform. Fourier series used for a periodic signal. For periodic signal. And Fourier transform is used for a periodic signal. Fourier series is used for periodic signal. Fourier transform is used for a periodic signal. Both are converting waveform into spectrum. We have some waveform of voice and audio. That spectrum is for voice is 300 to 3400. A baseband signal I draw. If it is audio, we can draw 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. For audio, we can squeeze some range. Audible range is 5 kilohertz to 15 kilohertz. Next point to be discussed means Fourier transform is very useful to calculate the bandwidth. First, we discuss the definition of bandwidth is range of frequency, range of frequencies. Occupied by signal, occupied by signal which have ninety to ninety five per cent spectral power of signal, spectral power of signal. 90 to 95% spectral power signal means bandwidth is F, FH minus FL. It contain 90% to 95% spectral power. For voice 34K minus 0.3K is 3.1K is our bandwidth for voice signal. Standard voice signal we discussed previously voice signal for telephony purpose for bandwidth calculation rectangular pulse is very useful rectangular pulse from rectangular pulse we can calculate the bandwidth for digital communication which is very basic for digital communication a rectangular pulse have Fourier transform Zinc function. One, one by t, two by t, minus two, one by t, minus two by t, and so on. Main lobe and side lobe. Pulse width is pulse width is T. Rectangular pulse can be right as its sync function pattern is omega T by two. First zero crossing come out from this expression. Omega T by two plus minus n pi where n is 1 first zero crossing first zero crossing is omega equals to 2 pi upon t if we deal with hertz frequency in hertz then 1 upon t the first zero crossing and all zero crossing 1 1 by t plus minus 2 by t plus minus 3 by t plus minus and so on then we can calculate for this practically rectangular pulse its practical bandwidth is FH minus FL bandwidth practical bandwidth FH is infinite term minus 0 is infinite but it is not so Practically,
its bandwidth is infinite but we are now consider only 90% 90% of its energy only for practical purpose we consider only 90% of energy remaining energy side side lobe energy is not considerable if we consider in uh, in uh, significant high frequency component we are not considering this component then main lobe main lobe lobe is bandwidth main lobe only main lobe consider for bandwidth only main lobe bandwidth is first come from first zero crossing a first zero crossing is 1 by t 1 by t is pulse width means bandwidth come out from pulse width 90% of spectral power in this case contain in this bandwidth ideally 100% power is spread in from minus infinite to infinite but some practical aspect for practical aspect we are considering 90% power only so bandwidth is 1 upon t hertz 1 upon t hertz if pulse available to us is pulse width available to us is 1 millisecond then bandwidth of 1 millisecond is 1 kilohertz if we consider pulse width of 1 microsecond then bandwidth is spread now 1 megahertz we reduce the time duration from 1 millisecond to 1 microsecond here frequency is expanded if we further increase pulse width further decrease pulse width 1 nanosecond bandwidth is spread 1 gigahertz now we at last in bandwidth uh, pulse width is reduced to zero impulse bandwidth is infinite in this case because impul impulse Fourier transform is one for zero time period means infinite bandwidth in the modulation very basic component frequencies shifting property of Fourier transform we are using in modulation means this term is also known as modulation property gt equals to g omega when we take Fourier transform of it gt cos omega naught t its Fourier transform is half g omega minus omega naught plus half omega plus omega naught means if original signal is band limited up to omega m by multiply with omega cos omega naught t it is shifted by plus omega naught amount minus omega naught amount i draw these two diagram basic gt may be band limited signal its Fourier spectra may be shown as if I multiply with cos sorry here we are drawing here we are drawing waveform multiplying with cos in a spectrum it visualize in this way omega naught pi and pi we multiply with cos result will be in the spectrum term spectrum is shifted by 
प्लस ओमेगा नॉट अमाउंट ओमेगा नॉट ओमेगा नॉट प्लस ओमेगा एम ओमेगा नॉट माइनस ओमेगा एम पाई इफ एनी एम्पलीट्यूड एयर ए सेम रिप्लिका अवेलेबल इन नेगेटिव आल्सो सेम रिप्लिका अवेलेबल इन नेगेटिव आल्सो मींस वाया मॉड्यूलेशन प्रॉपर्टी वी found shift in the range of frequency conclude with the sentence whenever signal is multiplied by carrier spectrum of of signal then signal will be shifted to left side left side or sorry right side and left side by omega not amount and amplitude become amplitude become half of previous one as per our formula half of g omega omega not plus g omega plus omega not half of pre previous one magnitude is half of previous one here magnitude is half of previous one now we start basic modulation schemes now i start with two type of com communication analog communication and digital communication i start with analog communication in analog communication definition start from modulation is defined as the process in which characteristic parameter of carrier is vary according to message signal i repeat the modulation is defined as the process in which the characteristic parameter of carrier is vary according to message signal in mathematical term cos omega not plus phi if we vary characteristic parameter there are three characteristic parameter amplitude frequency and phase and phase if we vary amplitude of carrier according to message signal then it is called amplitude modulation if we vary frequency of carrier according to amplitude of message signal it is called frequency modulation if we vary phase of carrier vary according to amplitude of message signal then it is called pm amplitude modulation is further divided on the basis of sideband dsb ssb vsb fm is divided between two portion nbfm wbfm and pm is also divided between nbpm wbpm all are the different different modulation scheme on the basis of sideband we divide am in different different part amplitude modulation in different different part first portion dsb plus fc dsb fc or is originally known as am or used for broadcasting dsb sc is known as dsb third ssb plus fc this term is not practically used not theoretically may be used practically not used and fourth one is ssb sc it is known as ssb use in telephony now we will discuss step by step first is amplitude 
modulation in amplitude modulation is defined as the process in which peak amplitude of carrier peak amplitude of carrier peak amplitude of carrier vary according to amplitude of message signal so we can vary in this way instead of using a here now it is very according to message signal amplitude it is now empty cos here phi we take zero proportional is proportionality constant phi we take zero for general angle no reference angle is zero if we remove the proportionality constant we come to know a cos omega ct cos omega ct plus k a a mt cos omega ct cos omega t we are using carrier frequency omega this is known as carrier frequency and this term is known as modulated signal related signal mt is known as modulating signal modulating signal remove proportionality constant we come to know this term for re realization of am modulator we can realize in this way a block which generate am modulation we multiply here with ct ct is known as a cos omega t as a reference angle we take phi is zero we are transmitting st here here we encounter with new term k k is amplitude sensitivity sensitivity of modulator it is amplitude sensitivity of a modulator now standard form of am is st equals to a 1 plus k mt cos omega ct standard form of am waveform before modulation before modulation peak is a after modulation after modulation peak is a 1 plus k mt this term is known as envelope in frequency domain ft in a frequency domain we can convert and we we get its frequency domain version via fourier transform via fourier transform pi a del omega minus omega we use C here omega C carry frequency omega plus omega C plus K A upon 2 M omega minus omega C plus M omega plus omega C bracket close with the use of Fourier transform we get this result if original message signal spectrum is shown in this way omega m omega m then 
this expression can be represented in spectrum pattern. This term give two impulse, impulses. First impulse is located in omega c. Second impulse is located at minus omega c, with magnitude is revised a pi. There are two impulses, and this term denote omega c component with spectrum. This spectrum, omega c component with this spectrum. and magnitude is also revised magnitude in this case is a k a a upon 2 now magnitude also revised and these two term omega c plus omega m this term is omega c minus omega m minus plus on both are minus Minus omega c, minus omega m. This side, this side of the message signal is called upper side. It is called lower side, and we use band. Upper side band means these two are upper side band, darker portion. Upper side band of modulated signal. This is. Known as lower side band or modulated signal, we can collect via low pass filter or band pass filter out of these two spectral component. Each side band contain complete information of the message. Either of two side band, if we receive one side band, information will be fruitful to us. Frequency in AM, frequency involved in AM, if it is Single tone component at the end frequency is omega c plus minus omega m and omega c means carrier and carrier component arrow mark and its side band spectral component are also available in output if single tone. If it is band limited signal means band is available to us. If single tone means only these component frequency component are available in output what is the bandwidth of am for this condition we can calculate bandwidth bandwidth come from higher frequency component omega c plus omega m minus lower frequency component omega c minus omega m i subtract these two term result will be twice of omega m means bandwidth is just double twice of omega m of what highest modulating frequency highest